Hello, in this video we will be talking about the Displays app in Venus Control Suite. The Displays app allows you to configure your displays including the hours of operation, brightness, emergency alerts, and more. To open your Displays app, click on the app that says Displays. You will see a list of all of your displays and quick information about them such as the hours of operation, any layouts that are assigned, alerts that are enabled, scheduled mode, the location assigned, animation availability, and the pixel dimensions. There are several filter options to organize and find displays easier. You can search for a specific display by putting in keywords, sort your displays by newest first, oldest first, recently modified, alphabetical, and reverse alphabetical, show displays that have been assigned to a specific account, show displays by location, show displays that have a specific layout assigned to them, show displays with a webcam, sort by device type, pixel dimensions, and tags. Display tags can be used to group displays together and make for easier scheduling purposes within a playlist. You can apply as many tags as you would like to your displays. This can be useful when creating subcategories as well. For example, if you have multiple interior displays that need to be categorized, they can all have the tag of interior applied to them, plus tags to signify a floor number, whether or not they're a menu screen, or if they happen to be touchscreen enabled, just to name a few examples. To assign a tag to one or multiple displays, Click the checkbox next to the displays you want your tag to be associated with, then click the price tag icon up above. After putting in one of your tags, click the plus icon to assign it. Enter in as many tags as you would like here, and then click save once you're done. When clicking on a display, you'll find the configuration options. Under the configuration section, Certain display properties can be changed, such as the name of your display, the time zone, and the location. When putting in a location, it's important to select one of the drop-down options from below. If a layout has been created in the layout editor, you can add that layout to your display from here as well. If a layout is already assigned to a display, you can instead replace it with a different layout. If your display is an LCD display and meets the requirements, you can enable display control as well. Under the code compliance section, you can allow or disallow animated content to play, adjust the default duration that images play for, the hours of operation, toggle between the automatic and manual brightness mode, and enable transitions between media files. Transitions are available in select packages and above. Under the emergency alert section, you can turn on the Integrated Public Alert and Warning System, or iPause alerts. Keep in mind, iPause alerts are only available in the United States. After enabling those, you can enter in up to four different zip codes that those alerts will be pulled from. Keep in mind, iPause alerts will also have to be turned on within the Venus app under the Settings section. And if your display meets the prerequisites, you can also enable Amber Alerts. You can also easily find informational videos within Venus Control Suite by utilizing the search function in the Self-Help tab. This covers the Displays app in Venus Control Suite. Continue on to other videos for more information.